In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a link page for your LinkedIn bio using Canva. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I'm here to teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs just like you on how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and become your own boss. So if that sounds like you, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when tutorials are posted. Anytime I get the chance to talk about Canva, I love to create these tutorials and videos for you because Canva is my absolute favorite tool to use in my business. Now, not only am I going to show you how you can create your own link page using Canva, at the end of the tutorial, I'm also going to give you a few pros and cons of using Canva as your link page for your business. So first, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and then I'll be right back to give you those pros and cons. Here we are on the Canva homepage to access the link page templates. Simply just go to the search bar and type in link website. It's going to populate a variety of templates for you. You can scroll through and just find one that you like. Um, maybe one that fits your style and your brand. Just keep in mind that you can customize any of these to fit the style and brand that you want. Some templates are available for free and then some templates are available with the Canva Pro account. I do have Canva Pro. So to get started, simply just click on the template that you want to choose and it's going to open it up inside the Canva editor. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize all of these elements, the text, the button, the image, and link your URLs. Before we get started, I want to show you a quick pro tip. Go to the left hand side and click on styles. If you have your brand kit set up, your brand codes will show here at the top. You can click on your colors and it's going to shuffle the colors around as a way for you to see if you like how the color scheme look. If you don't have your brand kit set up, that's fine. You can simply click on colors and you can explore all the different color palettes that is available through Canva style. Now let's get back to the original. If you make any changes that you don't like, you can use the undo button to undo the changes that you made. So the first thing that I want to do is to switch out this image. I already have my image saved in my folder. And all you have to do is click on it and just drag it into place. Now that I have it in place, now I'm just going to adjust it to how I want it. Uh, let's see. This should be right. Okay. Next, let's edit the text. You can change the size, the font, and the color. And you can just add whatever title that you want to add. So I'm just going to put... And then move it around to wherever you want. You can choose to have a short bio. That's up to you. I'm just going to put a tag name. So if this is going on my Instagram, I can put my Instagram name here. And that is how you edit the text. It's really simple to do. Next, let's edit the buttons so i actually like this pink color so i want to make all of the buttons pink so i'm going to click on the button and then just change it to pink canva will always keep the document colors up at the top so you don't have to worry about searching for colors so whatever colors that you use in the document you can find it in this top row Okay, let's move this over. I want to actually move this over to the right so you can see her face a little bit more. I kind of move this here. Okay, now I do notice that my image has a filter, so let me actually remove that transparency. There we go, so it makes it brighter. And I also noticed that there's some type of animation. You can keep the animation, but I'm not. So I'm going to go over here, 
click on this and then click none. That way there's no animation. So the next thing is that I want to do is to edit my titles of my button. You can make the titles of your button anything that you want. For the first button, I want to type book a consultation. So let's move that. Make sure that it fits the button. Uh, the next one could be something like your blog. Whatever you want to drive traffic to, that's where you want to add the button. Uh, let's say a free download or a free lead magnet, you can link to that. And if you have any type of digital products that you want to sell or merch that you want to sell, you can also link that. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at shop. And let me just do some alignment. Okay. So the next step is to actually add your links. Then there's two places that you need to add your links for your buttons. You want to add link your text and you want to link your button. That way, if someone is clicking on it and if they don't click on the actual text, they can still click on the button and it takes them to the URL. So first I'm going to show you how to link the text and then I'm going to show you how to link the button. So go to the website that you want to link, copy the URL, come back into the editor. Notice I have my text highlighted. So then I'm going to go to those three buttons for more. And then I'm going to select this link icon kind of looks like a paperclip and then simply paste it. And there it is. When you link a text, it's automatically going to underline it, but you can remove that underline by going over here to the U button and click it and it's going to remove the underline. Okay. So it's the same process. So this time I'm going to highlight the button, go back to the link option or link icon and paste that same URL. So now my button has been linked. The next thing I want to show you is how to add social media icons. So go back over to the left hand toolbar, select elements. Let's type in uh, Facebook. And it's going to populate all of the icons that are related to the term Facebook. So to filter it out, you want to just select graphics. And if you are using the free version, and then you only want to use the free elements, you don't want to pay for any elements, you want to go to the right corner of the search bar. This is the filter option, and you can scroll down and select free. And it's only going to show you the free icons. Just click on the icon that you want to use and scale it to size. And just place it, I would place it under the buttons, but you can place it anywhere that you want. And then if you want to change out the colors, you can go to the top and then change out the colors. And to link your social media, it's the same process. You go to your social media page, you copy your URL, come back into the editor, highlight the icon, go to the top and paste it. Now your social media pages are linked. Once you're done customizing your template to your desired aesthetics, now it is time to publish your website. The first thing you want to do is actually make sure you change the name of your template and you can just add your business name or whatever you want to name it. Then you go to the top right hand corner and select the three dots and then you want to select publish as a website. Canva does allow you to create a full website using their platform. I do have a full tutorial on that. I'll make sure to link that. So click website. It does have several web styles, but the best one for the link page that I found is using the presentation style. So you want to select open website. Okay, so this is what your link page looks like from a desktop view. 
I am going to show you how it looks for a mobile view because most likely you are creating this link page to go on one of your social media platforms and most people access their social media platforms from their mobile phone. First thing you need to do is to copy your URL. So this is your URL to your link page. This URL is very long, so if you want to shorten it, you can use a tool like Bitly to shorten your link. So all you have to do is copy, go into Bitly, hit create, and then type, then paste your long URL, and it's going to create a link for you. So now, this Bitly link is your new web link, and it's going to take it directly to your website and this is how your link page looks from a mobile phone when someone clicks on your button it's going to direct them to whatever url that you linked and also your the same thing with your social media icon okay boss friends so that is how you create a link page using canva now let's get into these pros and cons. The first pro that I want to mention, again, that it is absolutely free to use. You do not need to upgrade to Canva Pro in order to create your link page. The second pro that I want to mention is that with Canva's templates, it makes it very easy for you to come in and just customize it to fit your business brand. You don't need to be a graphic designer and you don't need to be a web developer to create your own link page. Now let's get into these cons. The first con that I want to mention is that it does not provide any type of internal analytics. So you would need to use a third party platform to give you that analytical data, such as Bitly. So you can make all of your links a Bitly link and then you can use the analytics from Bitly to give you that data. Uh, another option is if you're driving traffic to your landing pages for your lead magnets, you can use your autoresponder such as ConvertKit in order to get that analytical data. The second con that I want to mention is that it does not give you any type of customizable link. It gives you that long link that I showed you before. And again, you will need to use a third party platform to shorten that link. So there's no way to uh, really brand the link and shorten it to really fit your brand. So that could be a con for some people. It all just really depends on where you are in your business and what you need. But however, again, Canva is one of my favorite tools and it has so many options that you can use it for, for your business. So if you found this tutorial useful in any way, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. So I know to create more tutorials just like this for you. If you have any comments, feel free to leave those down in the comments. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.